Zimmerman volumetric mixers can be equipped with one or more admixture injection systems. These provide a means of delivering specific amounts of liquid admixture to the mix auger. Each system consists of a tank, a cleanable strainer, a control valve for adjusting the delivery rate, a flow meter to show the delivery rate, a switch to arm the system, and an electrical operated valve to start and stop the flow when the material feed valve is activated or deactivated. The tanks come in two sizes, 42 gallons and 20 gallons, depending upon the amount of admixture required per cubic yard. The standard tanks are galvanized steel with stainless steel available for corrosive materials. The tanks are configured with a gate valve at the top for filling the admixture, a sight tube to read the level, a shutoff valve at the bottom, a safety relief valve, a check valve to prevent liquid to flow back and contaminate the air system, and a ball valve to release any stored air pressure. Zim mixers use air pressure to deliver the liquid admixture from the holding tank to the mix auger. This eliminates the need for a pump. The supply of pressurized air to the Zim mixer comes from an air tank and goes through a filter water separator to ensure that all dirt and moisture have been removed. It is then sent to the various features that require it. All lines and fittings on truck mounted units comply with DOT regulations. The admixture air pressure regulator, the air supply ball valve, and the strainer are mounted on a panel on the sand bin side of the unit. A single regulator is used per mixer with individual air supply ball valves and strainers for each admixture system. The admixture regulator is set to 45 PSI with a safety relief valve set to prevent overcharging the system. The admixture flows through the valve at the bottom of the tank and through the strainer. It then goes to the admixture flow control ball valve located to the right of the operator's panel. This valve is used to set the amount of admixture that will be delivered. The amount is read at the flow meter located at the operator's panel. The flow meter is sized to deliver a specific range of admixture which is determined by the mix design and the calibration of the mixer. The flow meter, along with the size of the tank, determines whether the system is a high flow or low flow. The admixture delivery is started and stopped by the admixture solenoid valve located at the back of the operator's panel on the outlet port of the admixture flow meter. This valve opens and closes when the admixture switch on the 8 switch panel is in the on position and the material feed is engaged. The setting for the flow meter is determined from the unit calibration. To operate the admixture delivery system, the following steps are taken. Once the admixture is loaded, the gate valve is closed and the dust plug replaced. The small ball valve at the top of the sight tube is turned to the off position to prevent the admixture from flowing back to the tank when pressurized. This valve is opened to read the level of admixture. Before pressurizing the system, check the admixture strainer to ensure that it is clean. With the strainer closed, open the air delivery valve. The air release ball valve at the top of the tank is closed to allow air pressure to build inside the tank. Once the tank is pressurized, the delivery valve at the bottom of the tank is opened, allowing the admixture to flow downstream. At the operator's panel, turn the admixture rocker switch to the on position. The delivery control ball valve is used to control the amount of admixture being delivered. The admixture will only move through the flow meter when the admixture solenoid is triggered by the material delivery control. The correct setting of the admixture is determined from the unit calibration. For additional information on the maintenance, calibration, and operation of a Zimmerman Industries admixture delivery system, please contact us at 717-733-6166.